Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, booby. Brad was singing the police, and he tried not to find the red light, and we have to re-record the damn video. I blame Roxanne. Roxanne! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be, huh? <laughs> uh, all right. Alternative schedule, folks. And it's Ryan talking about alternative schedules. Just imagine this. Um, it's a procedure for studying choice, although you don't have to. It could be a, um, an applied setting where it just happens. Um, or you could do it in the lab and you could study choice. So the idea being, I have one schedule here, one schedule of reinforcement. I have another schedule of reinforcement here. Whichever one I complete first, and it doesn't matter which one or in what order, I earn the reinforcer. So they basically go concurrent in the lab. In the real world, stuff's happening all the time concurrently. For example, I could be recording this video, right? So that's one schedule of reinforcement. There's, anyway, we'll come back to what the reinforcers are in probably one of these later videos. I don't want you know keep you in suspense and stuff. Anyway, um, so we can finish a video, or I can go out and finish working with this kiddo that a parent had hired me to work with, which I don't really do that, but I'll let you think I do. Um, so I can finish that. Or I can finish the video, or I can finish this, or I can finish the video. Whichever one, it doesn't really matter. They're on different schedules of reinforcement. If I finish the kiddo, I'll get paid. If I finish the video, I'll get paid. Um, and it really just kind of lets you understand which one, which procedure, and which schedule is more reinforcing for the person that's undergoing those schedules. So.